Hi everyone, this is Glenn Flaherty from Board Games and Bourbon, and right now we're going to talk about Epic PvP, the game in general and how to play it, um, specifically the number two expansion, and I'm also going to give you some thoughts about the whole thing as a total. Okay, this is probably going to be your best how to play video ever, because I've seen what's out there. Uh, and I'll talk more about that later. So what do you do in the game? The game starts like Small World. You are going to have a type of person, and this type of person has a power and a lifeline, and then you're gonna have an ability you can choose, and this is just an ability, and you can stick them together and mix and match them, okay, to get different combos. Um, in this particular expansion, there's two people, two of uh, the special abilities. Both the person and the special ability has their own deck of cards that you combine, and you combine them like this. You know, there's you know some of the abilities, some of the people. You smash them up together. That's kind of like the game Smash Up. And this is your draw pile to do special powers. Um, you're gonna, you know, my card before said I had four life. You draw four cards to represent your four life. They disappear as you get damaged. Um, then you take two cards from your hand. At the beginning of your turn, you put them down, and this represents your mana or your aggression in this game. And basically, the more of these you have in front of you, because you put down two per turn, it will activate or give you the ability to activate uh, a power that is worth two, or on your second turn, an ability that's worth four or six, like this, and it keeps going. Uh, when you do that, you can draw a card, like in this case, if I had four aggression out, I can activate a card that's worth four, uh, and then I can attack my uh, enemy for four, and I can block him for four. Now that's basically how it goes. If you run out of cards, you draw your mana, your aggression cards into your hand and use those. The actual turn goes like this. I pick a card out of my hand, I put it down, and I say, I'm attacking you for four. And then it immediately is your opponent's turn. And they say, well, I have a card, and I'm going to, with the yellow, block you for four. If you are successfully blocked, I turn the card around, and then I attack you back for four. And you just keep going until someone gets, you know, damaged and dies. Okay, that's, the, that's how the whole game plays. Thoughts about the game itself. Um, the good parts are it is very easy to understand. The rules are not hard. The abilities are not hard to understand. Um, you will know what to do after one turn. Games are about 10 minutes. The, the only thing you would really want to do in the game is stay with your combo of character and power. Otherwise, you have to sort the cards. Um, and you might spend 30 to 50 percent of your game time sorting as opposed to playing if you keep changing it so stay with your deck and move forward um the artwork is kind of downtrodden um you know the the cards are just black and gray they're not very exciting the artwork on the cards themselves i mean i gotta tell you i i hope i'm not being demeaning here but it might seem that way because you know i'm a mediocre artist at best but the artwork on these cards remind me of what you know my friends would do on a you know a notebook in high school you know the good ones but uh you know with a modern you know computer uh, coloring systems that's really what brings it up you know um i don't think the artwork is all that involving um i think the names are kind of like really just generic and don't strike me like you are a cleric your power is trip. This is a cat folk. Doesn't really do it for me. Um, this game was a free giveaway at a convention, so maybe that speaks to it. Um, this particular expansion is $20, I believe, is what I read. And I think the base game is $20 to $30. It has a lot more characters. Um, now... It's a very fast, easy game to play. So there, there are merits there. I can't say it replaces other games for me. I think if I wanted to have a dueling card game that was fast, I would probably do Star Realms. Um, I can see the enjoyment of, um, uh, you know, magic, although that's a little bit more involved. Epic PvP is more involved. This strikes a, a nice location i can't say it stands out but it strikes a nice location now as far as understanding the game yourself you may have some issues and the issues are um okay let's say you get this dark knight card 
It says here, ah, before blocking, it says uh, you may put down, wait a minute, this is the wrong one. It says you may, here it is, on the Claire card, our favorite Claire card, um, put three pacified counters on this card. After playing moves, you may add one pacify counter to your moves. Well, that's wonderful. Pacify. Oh, well, it'd be nice if something told me what pacify meant. Let me consult the rule book. Ah, it's nowhere in the entire rule book. That is helpful. Oh, okay. Well, look, there's a part here that lists two different websites I can visit according to this book that will tell me uh, how to play it. And luckily, when I go to either of those websites, that how-to video is not there. So um, I, it's almost like the, the game isn't supported. I don't know what's going on. But I, it, it is what it is. Okay, so there's Epic PvP, a 10-minute battle game. Um, it's a 10-minute battle game. There you go. I think it's probably going to be surpassed by Hero Realms. Um, you know, and all that they're doing. Um, so, mm, let me know what you think about that. You know, maybe I'm too harsh. Anyway, all right, there you go, guys. Uh, there's there's a heads up on that. Talk to you soon. Bye.